We will now restart proceedings. I remind members that if amendment, the amendment in the name of Stephen Kerr is agreed to, the amendment in the name of Neil Bibby will fall. The question is that Amendment 3853.2 in the name of Stephen Kerr, which seeks to amend Motion 3853 in the name of George Adam on setting out changes to this week's business, be agreed. Members should cast their votes now. The vote is now closed. The result of the vote on amendment number 3853.2 in the name of Stephen Kerr is yes, 52, no, 63. There were no abstentions. The amendment is therefore not agreed. The next question is that amendment 3853.1 in the name of Neil Bibby, which seeks to amend motion 3853 in the name of George Adam on setting out changes to this week's business, be agreed. Members should cast their vote. No. The vote is closed. The result of the vote on I call Jamie Halker Johnson.
I call Jamie Halker Johnson. I'm sorry, I couldn't get the uh, app to work, presiding officer. I would have voted yes. Thank you, Mr. Halker Johnson. That is now noted and recorded. The result of the vote in the result of the vote in amendment number three eight five three point one in the name of Neil Bibby, yes fifty one, no sixty three. There were no abstentions. The amendment is therefore not agreed. The next question is that motion 3853 in the name of George Adam on behalf of the Parliamentary Bureau on setting out changes to this week's business be agreed. Members should cast their votes now. The vote is now closed. The result of the vote on motion 3853 in the name of George Adam is yes 64, no 51. There are no abstentions. The motion is therefore agreed. Point of order, Stephen Kerr. Sir, we have tried to bring the First Minister to this chamber of the Scottish Parliament to answer questions on the ferry scandal which is engulfing her government, and we have failed. So can you, as the Deputy Presiding Officer of this Parliament, advise us on how we might, in the name of open and transparent government, how we might be able to fulfil our responsibilities as parliamentarians to hold this government to account, to scrutinise its actions in respect to the biggest scandal in public procurement since the establishment of this parliament. I thank, I thank Mr Kerr for his contribution. I, I, I make two points. First of all, the parliament has just had a vote on that matter and the parliament voted in the way that it voted, and that was the democratic result of the vote in this parliament. The other point I would make is, of course, that the member will be well aware that there will be other opportunities to pose questions on that topic, or indeed any other topic. Thank you. There is one question to be put as a result of today's business. The question is that motion 3818, in the name of George Adam, on Scottish local government elections, 
Candidacy Rights of Foreign Nationals Bill at Stage 1 be agreed? Are we all agreed? Yes. Are we all agreed? Yes. The Parliament is agreed and the motion is therefore agreed. That concludes decision time and there will be a short pause before we move on to the next item of business. Thank you.